Oh, hello, YouTube. It's been about a decade. I've moved things around. Things are different. Things are not what they seem. I have painted my whole living room. It's fabulous. I know. I'm fabulous. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that I'm fabulous. Um, before I get into today's meat and bones, bones and meat, uh, I had an interesting comment. I'm just rolling my eyeballs in my head. I'm just like, oh my god. Um, I had a comment of somebody posted on my update video about how they had a spell for me to quit smoking. I don't smoke anymore. I vape a lot and it's prevalent. And they, they were, it was some visualization technique bullshit, whatever, about not smoking, not vaping, and I'll be healthier and all this. Just... The first thing after I read this like 20 page long response or, or comment, I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know. And and I had some messages from people after I posted my update video. They thought I was dying or something. You only wish. But no. I don't know. Whatever. So I wanted to talk um, about new witches and the dangers of being a new witch. I know. Controversial, right? Um, it is going to be controversial because I'm going to say a lot of things and a lot of things people aren't going to agree with. But that's why I premise this with this is my opinion based on my experiences, based on conversations I've had with other witches, based on their opinions, based on just what I've seen in the community, what I used to see in Facebook groups and so on and so forth. And this is not going to apply to all of you. I'm not saying every new witch. I am just... I'm just talking about the ones where you lead them to water, but you can't make them drink. Yeah. So, first of all, I see. I, I, I used to see this a lot. People wanted to get into YouTube to make money. I used to see these posts all the time in some of these groups where they'd be like, I don't have any money, I'm living off the government, I'm disabled, I'm whatever, I don't care. Um, but I want to get into YouTube to make money. I'm new to the craft. Bye. Goodbye. No, no. Bye-bye. You don't do any, you don't, I don't do this for money. You don't do it for money, okay? If you're gonna do it for money, you're doing it wrong, okay? I'm just, this is probably another one of those times where I'm going to tell you you're doing something wrong and then preface that with, I try not to tell you that you're doing anything wrong, but you're doing it wrong. You don't do YouTube, Twitch, whatever it is that you're doing for money, okay? If you, if you, if you are brand new to the craft and you're brand new to YouTube and you want to share your learning and you're growing and ask questions, great. But the second that you try and do something for money, it is going to so very clearly be written all over your fucking face. Okay? It just, it just is. And I've seen people, like, who are brand new, 10 subscribers, start Patreon, start Kickstarters, start GoFundMe, start Etsy shops. No. Don't do that. Okay? No. If you, if, you have, if you already have an Etsy shop and it's doing fine and you want to share that on YouTube, fine, right ahead. But if you're coming to YouTube to make money and you're, you're like, okay, everybody subscribe to me, everybody like me, and uh, here's my Patreon and here's my Etsy shop and I've got five subscribers, like, no, no, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Okay, you're doing it. You're, do you're doing it wrong! <laughs> But let's, let's move into the craft side of things. Because, 
you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And this does not apply to all of you. So stop exploding in the comments. Okay, I just, I don't have time to deal with you. It took me like 11 fucking years to get where I am, okay? It took me 11 years. And you know what I had to start out with? The eight seasons of Charmed, a Scott Cunningham, two Scott Cunningham books, and a mortar and pestle. Peppermint, patchouli, and red sandalwood. That's it, that's all I had. Obviously some cold discs. And tea lake candles. That's it. I didn't have the shit that I have now. When I started doing this YouTube thing, I didn't have the shit I have now, okay? There's, there's, there's even things I'm learning, like gleaning. I didn't even fucking know what that was. What the fuck is gleaning? Apparently it's when you go out into the wild and you pick things. I learned a very fascinating things about thistles today and cayenne and ginger. Don't burn those two in your house. A, no, it'll hurt you. The sinuses and, and if you've got cats or dogs, that's, Life lesson learned there. Um, but there's shit that I'm learning, okay? And I, I, I don't know where, like I grew up in the 90s, okay? You remember the 90s? I, I know my demographic is 25 to 35 and they're mostly women. So you know the 90s. Don't tell me you don't know the 90s. You know the 90s. No internet. Well, we had internet, but we didn't have internet. I couldn't fucking go to my computer over here. Yeah, my computer's over here now, not over there. I move shit around. Couldn't go to my computer over here and fucking type in witchcraft. You go to the library and you type in witchcraft and everybody's fucking sitting around you staring at you like you're some sort of weirdo. Couldn't check out books in the library on witchcraft. I mean, you could, but you'd be judged. You know? We didn't have the fucking resources we have today. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have Lady Grave Dancer talking about her craft. We didn't have Ember Honey Raven talking about, I don't really know what she talks about anymore. Planning? Planning? She, she does some craft stuff. I'm a little confused, Miss Honey Raven. What, it, what, what do you do now? I'm confused. Okay, we didn't have Raven Ways talking about putting bitches in jars. Okay? We didn't have that. We had to learn it. It's 2018 and we got these fucking millennials running around screaming about microaggressions and triggering and SJW bullshit and give me, 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 give me. Okay, I see that in these new witches coming up. Not all of them, okay? So don't, don't get your boxers or your panties or whatever you're wearing in a fucking knot, okay? Because not all of you are stupid. It infuriates me. It, it really does. It infuriates me to no end. No end. Do you know why it infuriates me? It's not because I'm better than you. It's not because I'm more experienced than you. I don't give a fuck about that. It's because I took the time to read the books to ask the questions, to Google shit, to have a conversation with witches who understand that I'm not there to fucking, oh, thanks for this ginger and cayenne recipe. I'm gonna fuck off now and you can go fuck yourself. Like, no, okay? It is an opportunity to learn in every direction. Whether I'm watching a video by Ravenways while she's putting a bitch in a jar, I don't actually know if that's what she's done in her latest video. I haven't watched it yet. Okay, so calm down. Um, you know, whether it's watching that or it's it's reading, you know, this tarot spread book to, to learn new spreads or whether it's, you know, experimenting with incense or reading the 5,000 spell book to get ideas or, you know, communicating with the spirits and finding out what they want to see in a spell. See, that's another thing. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get to all of this. This video is probably gonna be long. I apologize, but I, I gotta get the shit off my chest. Um, everybody wants a fucking quick answer. It's mundane, 
before magic. I had a lady comment. I think it's a lady. I had a person comment something about why do magic if we're supposed to do mundane? That's like the really short, short version of said person's comment. And I'll tell you why. Because you need to be grounded in both worlds, okay? If you are just doing witchcraft 24-7, 365, okay? It is so much more easier for entities, people throwing shit at you, X, Y, and Z to attach to you than it is for somebody who has a fucking life outside of magic. Somebody who has, you know, those friends, relationships, that foot in reality, okay? Just because we're witches doesn't mean that we, we need to go and use every spell in the goddamn book to burn a bitch to the ground, okay? Um, you need to do the mundane stuff. I, I had somebody, something about a sister-in-law or something, and I was like, why don't you just block them? Like, why, why send pictures of you and your fiancé or husband or boyfriend or whatever to them to make that? No, that's unhealthy and stupid. Block them. Okay, so like what, like, what are the mundane things that you would think of? Okay, so I need some money. Okay, so what, do I have a job? Yes. Are they paying me on time? No. Okay, so contact them and be like, hey, it's X date. You were supposed to pay me on Y date and you didn't. Mundane right there. And then you do the magic to be like, yo, bitch. Money. People always expect a magical solution. And I see this with new witches all the time. They want a fucking magical solution to everything, whether they are seven trillion pounds overweight or they are riddled with acne or they, or they have no job and they have no desire to look for one or whatever the reason may be, they want a magical solution. It doesn't work that way. And I've seen new witches who are like, well, I'm hereditary. I don't have to do any research. It just comes naturally. And I have a video coming on that later, but I'll just gonna say this. I don't give a fuck if you're her hereditary. You have to learn somehow, whether it's through grandma's grimoire or through fucking Scott Cunningham or Bucklands or whatever the case may be. You have to learn just like the rest of us, okay? You might have some family knowledge. You might have some recipes, some spells. You know, we've all got those. I've got one set money spell that works perfectly for me. I've got one set, you know, certain types of spells that work perfectly for me, okay? But the point is, is that if I had a child that was like, I want to be a witch, you know, they're going to learn a few things from me, but they're not going to learn everything. Yes, I'm a resource for that child, but at the same time, it's like, they also need to do their own research. People don't do research anymore. People, people go on Facebook groups and expect answers. They expect spells. They expect this. They expect that. And th th again, you already know, I've already said this, this isn't directed at everybody, but a vast majority of them want shit handed to them. I mean, as I already told you, I didn't even fucking know what gleaning was. I, I always thought it was a spelling mistake and the person meant to type cleaning. But no, it's a thing. It's harvesting. Didn't know that. See, I learned things. 11 fucking years I've been doing this and I learned something new. Didn't know to use ginger and cayenne. Didn't know what I could use thistles for. And then you get these new witches fucking around with things that they don't know. Okay, they don't know. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Spirits. You want to read your tarot cards, you want to do your spirit divination, let your guides guide you, great. You want to fuck around with the spirits of the dead or the spirits of the Latin? No. Not when you're fucking doing this for a week. Honey, no. <laughs> you are going to you are going to cause shit that you don't even know how to deal with. And yet people are fucking around with uh demons and and entities and all this other stuff and they've only been doing this for a week okay no what, what are you doing you have no idea what you're doing or what you're messing around with you don't know how to properly protect yourself you don't know how to properly cleanse your space you don't know how to properly make sure that shit is in place so that if something comes through that door you know how to get rid of it and that comes with time and experience and research. 
You think the lady grave dancer can fucking, uh, could summon a demon when she first started this? Probably not. She could probably do it now and know how to deal with it. But she probably couldn't do it when she first started. You know, there are the, the, the big popular people on YouTube, the witches that we generally look up to and they're the ones that seem to have all the answers. At the end of the day, they're learning just like the rest of us. It doesn't matter if you've been fucking doing this for 33 years or if you've been doing this for five days. You are always learning. And to the people who've been doing this for five days, stop fucking around with things you don't understand. Everybody's like, feed me, feed me, feed me. Give me the answers. And then some witch is naive enough to give them a spell, or maybe they've done it intentionally, to give them a spell and then that person goes and does it and then they come back and they're like, there is something in my house and I don't know how to get rid of it. It's your own damn fault. It is. Da, 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 look at me like that. It's your own damn fault that you didn't do the fucking research to understand how to conjure something or summon something or evoke or invoke or whatever or something and be protected. Be cleansed. Be in the right mindset. Be grounded. Physically, emotionally, mentally. There are a lot of people in this community with some real fucking mental health disorders. And I'm, I'm not talking like Asperger's and stuff like that. I'm talking like psychotic, sociopaths, pathological liars. Don't point your fingers at me, idiots. I'm talking like manipulators, all this bullshit, okay? And, and I don't know how the fuck they're even in the craft. I don't even think they are. I think they are the type of people that prey on other people because they have no substance in their life. But that's a whole other fucking conversation for another day. The point that I'm getting to is you shouldn't be fucking around with things that you don't understand. And you're gonna do it anyways, and you're gonna get burned. I mean, we all know not to touch the stove, but as kids, we fucking touched the stove and we got burned. So yes, you are gonna get burned along the path. You are going to experiment with things that you probably shouldn't be, and you're gonna learn the hard way. I learned the hard way plenty of times. It's a path that you go down that you have to be able to be willing to put in in the time and the effort. I mean, think about it. If you don't put in the time or the effort at your job, you're gonna get fired. You're not gonna make as much money. So why would you half-ass it with a craft? You think that you can just do a spell and become an instant millionaire and you've only been practicing for a day? Honey, please, I've been doing this for 11 years and I'm still not a millionaire. If you see me call on the spirits in a video and they don't get pissy and destroy the video like they normally do, but if they don't get pissy and destroy the video and you try and do the same thing and the spirits are all in your house and you don't know how to deal with them, don't come crying to me. What research have you done? What, what books have you read? What, what information have you managed to gather on yourself? If you come to me with a question and you're like, hey, I have a question on candle magic and I've read X, Y, and Z, and I've watched these videos, and I've seen this posted on these discussion boards, and I've tried it this way, and it doesn't seem to be working, what am I doing wrong? I will help you. Because you have done the research. You have, you have asked the right question. You have done the research. You have prevent, you presented me with some of the research you've done, with what you've done. When I go to ask a coding question, okay? When I go to ask a programming question, I say, here's the code that I've currently written. This is what I would like it to do, and I have no idea how to make it do that. I've provided them with a backstory, something to work off of, something where they can be like, oh, you've gone wrong on this line. Just change it to this and that'll work. And then you look at that and, you, and if you don't understand what change it to this means, then you ask, okay, what, what are you doing here? And they'll usually tell you. I don't go to them and just be like, hey, I wanna write a program to do X, Y, and Z, and I don't know how. Because that just shows that I haven't done any research. You apply the same fucking principles to witchcraft. Okay, you, you say, this is what I've tried, this is what I've read, this is what I've watched, this is what has happened, I was hoping for this response, is there something that I can do differently? 
is there something I'm supposed to be listening to? Like, what am I missing? Okay, like, that's... You've gone to the water and you've drank. I'm not telling you to not be in the craft, but if you are expecting me to fucking hand you a million dollars on a silver platter because you don't know how to do a spell to fucking find a job or, or do the mundane work to find a job and then do the spell to help you get said job, I don't think you should be in the craft. If you're not willing to go and do the research or ask the right questions or read websites, watch YouTube, and based off that information, ask the right questions, I don't think you should be in the craft. Would you expect a doctor who doesn't know how to operate on you and who has been in med school for like five minutes to operate on you? No. Maybe he could shadow the actual surgeon who's been doing this for 10, 15 years and learn new tics, tips and techniques. You know? So why should I expect, why should you expect me to give you the answers when you're not willing to work for it? Seems pretty fucking logical to me. Now granted, there are, on the positive side of this really negative sandwich, there are a lot of new witches on YouTube that are, you know, sharing what they've learned. They might not always be right, but they're not trying to mislead people or, you know, say that the way that they do it is the right way. Like, fucking leave that in 2017. Um, they're sharing what they know. And sometimes they get a witch who's been doing this for 20 years that comes in and is like, in my personal experience and in my opinion, this way works better. But, you know, if that way is working for you, then great. And they'll share some tips, they'll share some tricks, they'll share some experiences and they might make friends and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, the people that are willing to put in the time and the effort and not be like, I'm burning a penis candle to get my cheating boyfriend back. Like for fuck's sakes. Leave him and then burn the candle so that the next woman he cheats on, he fucking gets chlamydia. That makes way more sense to me. Also do a banishing spell so that he can't come back. If you want something bad enough, you will work for it. You will do everything in your power to attain it. And asking for it isn't going to help you.